Hello, it's me again, Diana Dan's Puppets. I thought today what I'd do is that I'd show you a simple way of doing a very pretty little face paint. Um, I'm quite well known for my face painting at children's parties because I'm very fast. And often mums always say to me, or oh, dad say to me, my goodness, you're so fast and so delicate. Well, speed is actually the reason why it looks delicate. And I want to show you all that it's not really that difficult. And I thought, what's the best way of doing it? Well, I'll do a little video for you and I'll just do it on my own face. So if I appear to be a little bit backwards, it's because I'm doing it on my own face. So it's all kind of a mirror image. So also I have to take my glasses off when I'm a bit short sighted. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Start off getting a sponge. Mine look a bit kind of coloured up because they've had lots of use, but they're clean. You dip it in some water. Squeeze out the majority of the water. Okay, it's very important. You don't need it too wet. Then take your face paint. I'm going to start with a pink base. So take my pink colour. I'll tell you a little bit about where I get the products from later. You rub your sponge a little bit into the pot. Get a little bit of pink on your sponge. Now to apply the paint, all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it across the top of my head and on the eyes and the top of the cheeks. And you basically just dab it on in a kind of a dabbing motion like that. Oh, this is very strange in the camera rather in a mirror. But I'll see how it goes, see if I can get it the way I want it. Okay, here we go. I'm not so quick now because I'm not doing it on somebody else. We'll see how this goes. And um, here we are. I don't know how those other girls. I'm going to turn the sponge around till it's a dry side. I'm going to just blend that in like that. Blend it in. Obviously on a growing woman like me, it's going to look slightly monstrous. But trust me, on a child, it always looks beautiful because you've got such a beautiful surface to work on first. Obviously on my 46 year old skin, it's not quite the same. Okay, that's that done. Next you take a little round brush, round bristle brush. You can get these pretty cheap from most craft shops or even from the face painting site I'm going to tell you about. And you take your white paint, white face paint. You rub your brush liberally in the paint. Then a little trick. Once you've got the, the paint on your um, brush, the white paint, you then take your pink paint, or if you want to look slightly darker, I'll do a little purpley edges, and you dip the tip of your brush, just the tip, into the paint. So you've got the majority of the paintbrush white, a little purple tip. Then all you do, I'm going to paint flowers now, and you're going to lay the paintbrush down like this on my head. Oh, I can't find where it is. There. And, oh, I'm going the wrong side. This is interesting. Okay, I have to work it out. And like that. Make a little flower shape. Do you know what? I'm going to have to do this in the mirror. Excuse me. I mean, it's really hard to do. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to do a little flower in like that. And another one there. And then we do another one. And another one, just over here. So basically just laying the brush down flat and just letting the, the paintbrush be your bristles. And as you can see over here, I haven't really done it great, but it doesn't matter because you can fix that up. You don't have to be the world's best. Then you take the yellow, if you want yellow for your middle, rub the brush in. Yellow paint. And you've got yellow on your brush. We do the middles, blot that in, in there, in there, in there, and in there. You've got your little flowers, and then you put your get another a finer brush, dip it in green paint, and then what we do now is just a very quick join together swirly line. Now, the secret with this is to be pretty quick because if you're too slow and every now and then you do little sort of single petals which end up being the leaves, if you're too slow 
it turns out a little bit clumsy. So just be fast, don't be afraid, just go for it. And there we go. There's a little garland for you. And then, last little touch, I take my brush, put it in a little purpley red colour. I'm going to do some little love hearts. So just take a brush on one side, press it down each side like that. It's just a little love heart there. Little love hearts. And again, over there. And again, over there. And then, obviously, if you want to finish it with the girlies, little pink fairies, take your brush, finish it off with some pink lips. There we are. And the final touch you can get face paint um, glitter. Just put a little bit of glitter over there. And then you can touch the flowers. It's just a little bit of glitter. It's a special face paint glitter. It's much finer than normal glitter and it's safer. And you just dab the powdery glitter onto the flowers. And that, my dear friends, is how we paint a very fast flower fairy. Obviously, if I was painting somebody else, it would be much faster, probably about three times the speed. Do that normally in about two minutes. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Me being a flower fairy, I feel quite ridiculous now, but hey, quite jolly. Put my glasses back and see the disaster. Oh, that's actually not too bad. So tune back in next time. You might even have the joy of seeing me as a tiger. Take care. Bye-bye.